I first had the idea of becoming you know, a pro gamer after I played in a competition last year in Dallas, Texas. That's when I sort of first had the idea of, well, I could actually turn this into a, a career. I became one of the UK's first pro gamers. I went we signed contracts with Gameplay and Razer, and I got to quit my job. It feels rather good to be a pro gamer. I mean, people, when they hear that first, they think you're talking crap, you know? They're like, nah, no way, no way. But then, you know, you're talking a bit more and they realize that's actually possible and people have shown a huge amount of respect towards me because of that. I realized I had the potential to become a professional at it when I'd been ranked number one on the online servers for Quake. The games we're playing right now are basically uh, Quake 3 only. I mean, that's the competition game. Not many people find something that they like doing and make money from it. In the future, I think gaming is definitely going to become as any other professional sport. The money involved is getting bigger and bigger. Next year, they're, they're talking about $200,000, $300,000 tournaments. To be a professional gamer, you need a lot of fast reflexes. You have taken the lead. Many people do have a chance, they just need the training and the dedication. Uh, there's going to be a lot of money for the players, big sponsorship deals. It's kind of a rock star lifestyle. You get to travel the world and have a lot of fun. Gaming grosses more in a year than the film industry does now, so I, I can't see why the top pro gamers can't be regarded as celebrities in their own right.